Hi everyone to a new video in our Visu series. In the last video, we took a closer look at the example project that we will be working with again and again, and also went into how a basic CodeSys project, including a visualization, can be created. In the following now, we will take a closer look at the visualization element frame, which we can find in the visualization toolbox under basic. The element serves as a literal frame in which one or more already existing visualizations can be displayed. And this way, the visualization can be split into several sections and be easily structured. On the main page of our visualization, we first see that several frames are used. In the properties of such a frame, for example, this frame here, we then see and configure which contents are switched between. The switching itself is controlled by the switch frame variable, where it is even possible to display different frame content on different display clients. There will be a, a separate video about this later. And beside the main pages, there is also a menu which is displayed in this frame. And how such a menu can be built up in detail, we will have a closer look at in the next video. So basically, again, a visualization is referenced. Of course, several visualizations can be referenced too, which, as in this case, can also have transfer parameters. To structure the visualization even more, we can use additional frames. For example, to display another footer or like here a title bar in which a visualization is also referenced again. So up to this point, we have seen how frames can be used to structure the visualization. Another useful aspect is that frames can be used to design custom widgets and then integrate them into the visualization. Let's take a look at such a widget. It consists of three elements, a pie, an ellipse and a rectangle to display a value. In the tab frame configuration here, we can define the frame interface of the widget for which different commands are available either here or here or by right clicking. And each property can then be configured again in detail, for example, by controlling this color via a variable. By new additional properties, we can specify even more configurable properties for which we have different options, like here, text, variable, color, font, checkbox, text list, image, or combo box. Once we have set up the interface for our needs, we can use the widget in the visualization. This is done by simply selecting it from the visualization toolbox down here, and under current project and dragging it into the visualization. In the properties of the widget, we can now change the properties that we configured in the frame interface. For example, specify the coloring or the integer variable whose value we want to display in the gauge element. Um, let's now take a look at how it all looks when we deploy the application to the controller and open the web visu. We can see the title bar at the top here and can switch between the different main contents using this fly menu on the side, just as we defined it using the frames in the project. Now that we know how to structure visualizations and use widgets with the help of frames, we will take a closer look at how to implement a menu like the one we just used in the next video. So look forward to the next video with the wise Visu guys. See you.